Saturday, then up to Weatherby go we. And well, the Weatherby hurdle, fascinating race, but it looks a match, doesn't it, between At Fisher's Cross and Tidal Bay. Of course, Trust and Time's coming in as well. Well, I'm prepared to see At Fisher's Cross win at odds on. Well, he's still got to make the step up. I'll let him go. The favourite I expect to go in, however, is a long run in the Charlie Hall chase. Yes, he hasn't won first time out for the last three seasons. Yes, he was in decline last year, despite the fact he won the King George. However, if you look at the figures, if you look at the form, he still ran some sterling races in defeat, didn't he? He's going to need to run at least £10 below his first time out figure in the last three seasons to lose this. Tactics could play a part. I've got a feeling they're going to go pretty hard up front. That should only suit him. He's said to be going really well at home. This looks like his big day. He should be odds on. Union East, Paul Nichols, the second season chaser. He finished distressed in the RSA when he flopped there, but before that his form was up and coming and he won the December Gold Cup around about this time last year. Again, he'd been really well back for this in the week. Will he make the leap though? He's got to improve at least 10 pounds. While he may do that, I've got a feeling he's going to come up slightly short on Saturday. Beneficent. If he comes over from Ireland, he's been trained for this. He won the Juicen last year, wore a first time hood that day though, and he was a lucky winner of a grade one at Leopardstown the time before. I'm happy to take him on. Let's hit him out the park with long run.